Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Welcome to another episode of Abstract Thesis series. We are continuing this series and in this today's video, uh, we are going to discuss about um, visual, which is basically a slicer, which is text filter. So let's begin. So first of all, what we are going to do, let's jump onto the Power BI. And there is one specific uh, uh, visual which is known as text filter, which I have already added, but I let you know how can you add that. So in the visualization tab, we have an option to get more visuals. So you click on that, it will open it. And if you have not signed in, it will ask you to sign in into uh, the Power BI using your login and you can search for text filter. Text filter is from Microsoft Corporation. So this is one of the PBI certified visuals which is available and it is having 4.2 rating and you can download and then use it. Okay. The pricing is free means you don't have to pay it for it. Okay. And you work and a school account is required and a publisher is Microsoft Corporation. Okay. So you will say add here and once you say add, in my case it's already added. Okay. So it will ask me for update, it's successfully updated. Okay. So now I got this visual. Now how to use this visual? So what, we, what I'm going to do is, let me create a, first of all, a visual. Okay, let's say I want to create a brand and net visual. Now what happens if I traditionally create a slicer, I can select a brand by, you know, certain names and um, See, right now this is not the best data where I can have it, but typically you will have different kind of brand names, okay? And you might like to filter on that, the variety of filtering like that. So what, what happens like if I click here and I bring in this one. So now what happens? I will, in this visual, I'm going to drag brand, okay? So it gives me a... I, there's nothing which is giving, it gives me just a search box. So I press, put one here and I two. So all those brands where one is there, it is coming. Now, can I drag more than one here? So let's say, can I drag item ID here? So if I drag item ID, it's actually only take one. So it can only take one. So I can either give brand or I can either give category or anything. I can give only one. So let's say <clears throat> if I give category into this visual and let me have category here so that you can um, when I search you can find out what I have done so category 2 so everything get filtered for category 2 okay so this is the uh, problem which we have for this particular visual so it cannot search more than one but what I thought there is a very um, old technique which is available with us so what we used to do because uh, the search engine kind of a database uh, like solar or elastic search, they have this uh, flexibility where you can search in all the columns and database never used to have. So what we used to do in that case to replicate that little bit, we typically used to create a concatenated search column. So I thought, why don't we do it? So what I've done here is I went to my item dimension and I created a new field. I'll show you. So what I've done is I concatenated all my field by giving the spaces. So name concatenate space concatenate brand concatenate space means basically ampersand means adding the string then concatenate category then space then subcategory so i got this column and let me rename this column as search column so now what happened in my dimension i have a search column where i can actually do the search and what i will do here is and and you need to know what actually i'm filtering so let me drag brand also here and let me drag cat category, subcategory also. Okay. And now let me do one thing. In this visual, let me cross this and let me bring in this search column. And now let me set this say one. Now you will see wherever in the or any of the three I have one, it's coming out. So here you see subcategory has one, it's coming out, and all those. Now let when I say brand one it do work. Okay. I say brand 11, it do work. 
and let's say we say sub category seven sub cat seven seems good so now let's try on some other dimension where we have variety of values so i have this state and city where i have this variety of values so let me try on this one because here looking at the values you might not find it really interesting okay so let's go here and here we create a new column we call it search column So I say state is m percent and city space m percent space m percent city. So now we got New York, New York, and all those. Now there could be few places you say, okay, if it's repeating, don't do this, and all those things we can do. But the main thing is that we have certain names available now with us, which we can search. So we we got this stuff. Now let's try it out. So now let's remove this. No, we don't need to remove that. Let's remove this. It's also not removing. Remove and let's bring in one visual which is basically because we need to differentiate what we are doing. And I bring in city also, and let me bring in net also. Okay. Now let's do one thing instead of this search column. We bring in search column from the geography table. Okay, so we bring in this search column. Okay, now let's type California. We searched it like this. Let's type new. We have quite a few new. See, either side we have n new. Okay, wherever we have new. So this has new. This has new. This has new. This doesn't have new, but th these two both have new. This has new. This has new. This both two have new. This only has new on this side. So we are able to search it, but what is the advantage of this technique that you are able to search? What is the disadvantage? Assume you have a dimension which is pretty large, then it may actually take a lot of time to you know search that. But overall, a good technique, unless we use some other visual. So you can try this out. A small trick, which can make you to search on more than one column. In any of the columns, it's going to search me. But overall, a good technique uh, to search that uh, in. So try this out and do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching. Keep asking questions in comments. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.